Hey guys, Boom Rush here, back in another video. And today I'll show you how to mod Steam games. Use it from Unity. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check if our game's compatible. So find the game you want to mod. In my case it's Stick Fight the game. Click on this manage. Click on manage go to manage and then browse local files. That is going to bring up your files. Should have the dot exe in this stuff in underscore data. And then if you see like IL2 underscore CPP, uh, you cannot do it with this game, just so you know. But if it's not IL2 CCP, CPP, then go to managed and you should see like assembly c -sharp dll You will not have Chaos Mod or BPM Modded version. That's my own personal version I'm making. So you want to find this and if you do, then good, we have that. Then we can start modding. Or it's moddable. Then we want to go to DN Spy on GitHub, link in the description. Go to latest release, and then download the 32 or 64, unzip it, and then we will launch it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to open this up, and then launch dnspy.exe. We go to our managed folder, and there we go. It's all open. You might have a bunch of stuff. Just Control A and hit Dell. Or delete it all and then take your assembly.c sharp.dll drag it into there and then now you you are ready to mod your game so we're going to go to assembly.c sharp.dll open that down open that down and then you're going to see these brackets and then a dash click on that and you have every single function from the game so like we have add shake we have black hole blink or blink dagger uh, we have weapon, we can modify our weapons and all that. So just for this tutorial, we are going to be, let's see, we're going to uh, make snakes move really fast. So here we go, snake AI. We're going to open this up, and you're going to see if you try editing something, it's going to bring you to something different, like the weapon. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to edit it by hitting right click and then you're going to see edit method class class members and add class you want to click edit class the method is only like this function right here you want to click edit class with the edit class open you can now modify the code of the game so first thing we're going to do we're going to find our stats down here oh wait right here let's see we have this function called set stats here's our movement speed so we're going to set it to something like uh, from 10 to 20 movement speed. We're going to hit compile. And to save it, after you hit compile, that's going to register it here. And then to write to the actual DLL, you're going to click on file, and then save all, and hit OK. But I'm going to quickly show you. Here, we're going to save all of those, save that. And now that is written to our game. So if we launch our game, here, let's do something more noticeable. So when we launch the game, in our top, we're gonna uh, in our top for our win count, we're gonna see zero right here. So we have a win count of zero. Let's change that. So I know that's probably something to do with the win counter UI. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna edit our class increment win counter right here. We're gonna add our own function so it can update every second. Uh private uh void update and we're gonna modify this. So in here we're going to refresh win text this dot refresh when text so it's gonna refresh every every game update in right here instead of setting it to our current win count we're just gonna set it to something like 99 off the bat it's this that's just that's just how, gonna how it's gonna be rendered that's not actually going to be our win amount just the text compile that file save all okay now if we head over to our stick fight the game you load it. And if you want to distribute this mod, just copy that assembly-c-sharp.dll uh, 
and share it with literally anyone else. See, there we go. It's gonna it shows up as non 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 right here. And then we uh, close that. And that's how we edit any game.